Hey everybody, it's Jay Ball, Blue Days Outdoors, and welcome back to another, I don't want to say exciting, but very interesting episode to the 2021 fishing season here on Blue Days Outdoors. And there's actually been some pictures going around on Instagram about this thing right here. And you guys have been asked a lot of questions about it. It kind of first got its debut with Dylan uh, Grubb a couple weeks ago, or maybe two weeks ago, while we were salmon fishing on the Grand River. And you guys have been asking questions about, like, hey, Jay, what is that thing? I want to know more about it. So I figured what better way to explain to you guys exactly what that thing is, is to uh, make a YouTube video. So let's check out this strange contraption that's on my Z21 Nitro bass boat. You guys are going to want to miss this. All right, so before I get into the nitty gritty de detail about what that actually is, I just want to give you a little bit of the background and the story as to why I have this rod holder set up the way I do. So many of you that have been following along with me throughout this season, all the new followers, I definitely appreciate you guys uh, subscribing to the channel, watching this content. But um, for those of you that have been following me since the very beginning, you guys know that I'm not only a very passionate bass fisherman, but I'm very passionate about salmon and steelhead fishing, probably more so steelhead season just because it is a little bit longer. And I grew up fishing the Grand and the Muskegon Rivers here in Michigan over on the west side of the state. Well, I live on the east side of the state now, so it's a little bit more challenging to get over there and fish as much as I'd like to. But when I got the Z21 Nitro, obviously there's no rod holders on it. It's a bass boat. But I still want to try to find a way to get this boat on the Grand River and troll for steelhead, which is which is what I've been doing since 95. So since I was like, what, uh, I, for, I forget how old I was, 10, 11 years old maybe. I've been fishing over at, at the Grand since 1995. And we've always backdropped or trolled uh, hot and tots for steelhead and salmon. And I know there's other way to catch them, right? You can catch them casting flies or bo back bouncing spawn. I just really, really love to backdrop and troll for these steelheads. So when I got the nitro, I was trying to figure out, okay, how can I take the nitro and not put any holes in it because uh, I don't want to drill any holes in this boat, but still utilize a rod holder system so that I can troll for these steelhead. And I reached out to a company called Trax Tex, which is a local company here in Michigan. Great company. Um, talked to them about some ideas and actually came up with what you guys see over my shoulder here. So again, the whole reason why I have this system originally is so that I control for salmon and steelhead. Salmon season's kind of in full swing right now. The grand is a little bit late. I know they've been catching salmon up north for a couple weeks, but the water temperature just hasn't been right in the, in the grand. The water level's rising. We got a lot of rain last couple weeks, so hopefully within the next week or two I can get down there and catch some salmon. Um, but yeah, again, I'm going to be trolling, backdropping for salmon for a little bit and then steelhead and this rod holder system here is really going to be a game changer. So let me actually show you what it is and how I built it and then show you some of the components because it was actually a pretty simple build. But again, I didn't want to drill any holes in the boat. I do have a rod holder here on the side of the gunnel that was, that was um, used from a ram mount that was originally for another screen, but I don't have another screen there. So I just put a rod holder on there. So I can actually technically have five rods trolling on the boat. So check this thing out. You guys are gonna wanna look into this because it's pretty interesting and uh, it does work pretty well. So give this thing a look. All right, so this is a little bit better view of this Trax Tex rod holder. So I just bought this as one solid piece. I think this is like called their quad rack setup, but you can see that it's got these two uh, screws here on this side, and then it's got two more screws on this side. And I basically just bought this four inch piece of Trax Tex, screwed this piece of Trax Tex down into this two by six. And then the nice thing about this system is you just loosen these four screws here and this whole thing slides right off for easy storage. So that is one of the really nice benefits about a Trax Tech system. And again, guys, this, this is a bass boat. This is not a walleye boat or a, or a big water boat designed for trolling, but I wanted to find a way to make it possible to troll. So what I did is, we'll just hop right into it, is with my father-in-law's help, I was over at his house trying to figure this out. We just took a two by six. We cut a two by six down by probably what, 10 inches or so. I think it's about 10 inches. And then what we did is if I can easily take this off here and show you guys, that is one of the nice things about this system. Let's just take this off real quick. Slide this out and then loosen this up. And as you can see, there are four lag bolts here in the bottom, okay? So we screwed this two by six on to the bottom of the seat post, and then we just screwed the Trax Tech system on through the top. 
And what I also did too is this is a reducer because you guys saw that this does flex. I'll put this thing back together so you guys can see it. But this is like, um, I think it's an inch and three quarter down to an inch diameter coupling. It's a rubber grommet and I've got four big host clamps on here just to hold this thing in place because this is my seat post for my back seat and this does spin around. Um, so yeah, it, it's kind of, I don't know what you want to say, redneck, but it definitely does the trick. Um, it works pretty well. This is my second season using it. I wish I had a little bit more permanent uh, setup, but it is what it is. Fairly inexpensive to build this. The track tech system, you know, it was probably about four or 500 bucks, I think. But now the nice thing is, as you can see, I can actually position these rod holders with the way this is designed in any position I want. So I push this button right here, and now I can bring these rod holders up. I can push them down. I can also pick them up and turn them so they'll go any way I want. So as I'm trolling, depending on you know what I'm seeing in the water, I can actually change the direction of how these rods are all uh, stuck out there. So yeah, pretty easy build. Maybe it only took about half an hour with the help of my father-in-law, but this is how I can actually troll for steelhead now and salmon in my nitro. And what's also nice too is if I want to, I control for walleye. Uh, you guys know that I fished the MWT walleye series with my uh, uh, friend, good friend, Team Shortshank. Uh, for lure lipstick but now i control for walleye i can pretty much troll for anything that i want i don't like to troll <laughs> that much i much rather would cast but i gotta tell you guys trolling for steelhead and trolling for salmon in the river there's just nothing like it they're such a powerful fish so yeah there's just a quick real fast breakdown on this whole trax tech system that i built for trolling uh, for salmon and steelhead so now i can use my z21 nitro to troll for fish so I get it. It might not be the prettiest setup. It might not be, um, you know, the best thing. But hey, for uh, for what I have, I, I feel that it's actually pretty pretty efficient. I, I wish this was a solid piece. That's the only thing. But the nice thing about this not being solid is I can take this screw out and adjust this and turn this. So again, it, it's it, for the, what I have. I, I think it's actually going to work pretty well for this season. Um, maybe I'll have my brother weld me up something more more uh, consistent because that is my back seat post. So uh, if you're ever fishing me the nitro and you want to sit on the seat in the back, uh, sorry, <laughs> the rod holder is being used. But again, take those four lag bolts out pretty easily, and uh, we can take the rod holder off there. But yeah, if you guys um, you know if you guys like this kind of stuff, please hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment. That really helps with the algorithm. Really do appreciate all the support. I'll leave the tracks text information in the description of this video so you guys can go check out all the products they have. I'm not associated with them. I, I just, I really like the system. They're local here in Michigan, so I like to support local businesses. Like I said, great company, great products. They have the ability to customize any sort of rod holder for your situation. If I wanted to, I, I literally could, you know, take the nitro there and say, hey, I want rod holders put on this thing. And they would have all the custom made brackets to put rod holders all over this boat if you want. So again, if you guys are looking for a modular system that's really versatile, check out Trax Text. You guys are not going to be disappointed. But again, thank you so much for the support. Look forward to seeing some uh, salmon videos here shortly, hopefully some steelhead videos this fall. But again, I really do appreciate the support. And remember, the easiest way to change your attitude is by showing gratitude. Thanks. And we'll catch you in the water next time.